This is a show about heading out to Tignish, Prince Edward Island with my good friend Jay Gavin. All the finer things in life have always caught my eye. Like the time we sat and talked all night, drank red wine. Taking this Prince Edward Island, and I left here in the '90s, and uh, I haven't really—I've only been back a couple times since. But uh, I really love this place, and uh, it's still in my blood. That's for sure. It's still salt in these veins. And it's really all the same. All the faces I remember, but I ain't that good with names. I'm just a faded recollection of a man I thought I'd be. Just a piece of rotten fruit fell from my loving family tree. And now we all just stay inside, and it's getting hard to breathe. There ain't a cloud up in the sky, but it feels like rain to me. To hit the road with my good friend Jay Gavin, in his hometown, what a treat, you know. It's a, it's pretty amazing to be able to go out on tour with someone like that who not only do we have fun and get along, but I just think his music is incredible and the songs he's writing are incredible. His music kind of says that he's from this community. When Jake comes home, uh, and it's, it had been a while, as you know, until last year when he came home. Yeah. You, you can see the glow in the people's eyes. Hey, a hometown hero is home. You know what I mean? Woo! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. A little tickness action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like when Stomp and Tom used to come home, same thing, you know. They, yeah, yeah. It was that. But yeah, Jay is a well respected um, fact. He's very much loved in this area. They, they love it when he comes home. Hey, this is Jay Gavin, and I'm standing in front of the orphanage where Stomp and Tom Connors grew up in Skinner's Pond, Prince Edward Island. I grew up here, and when I was growing up, everybody was playing music everywhere. We'd sit around a fire, we'd sit in somebody's house, we'd sit in a barn, and we'd play John Prine songs, and Stomp and Tom songs, and Johnny Cash songs. Yeah, it was a really tight-knit musical community, and still is. The, the one thing that, that really uh, thrills me about the talent up here is they really get into it. They love their music. Growing up here, apart from Stomp and Tom, I don't know a lot of songwriters here, but everybody had a crazy passion for music and everybody played in kitchens and, and uh, yeah, it was great, the feeling. And there's a ton of great artists here and there was a ton of great artists here when I was growing up and yeah, it was very inspiring. So we are sitting in the Skinner's Pond uh, school that was built in 1869, but it's the oldest uh, schoolhouse on Prince Edward Island. It hasn't been moved, it's still in the exact location. And this is where Stomp and Tom went to school. I believe he'd lived just across the field here. And uh, we're getting ready to play at the Stomp and Tom Center, which is right here. How's everyone doing this evening? Okay. Thanks for coming out. What a, what a turnout. And it uh, feels like a privilege to play here at Stomp and Tom. Jay invited me along for this trip, and uh, I'm sure happy he dragged me out to take Nish. I grew up, I grew up in Summerside, and uh, this felt like it was out of bounds territory for us Summersiders. It's been, it's been just been a long ploy on my part. I met Jeff about 15 years ago and it was a big plan just to get him and all these friends from Summerside down there. We're going to beat them up in the park. <laughs> Payback time. So last year I played my first show on Prince Edward Island here outside and it was amazing to play in my hometown. And this year playing the inside show was much more intimate and uh, it was a little bit later at night, so all my friends were here and we were all drinking, and uh, it was a it was an amazing experience. Be proud of this hometown guy here. He's writing some amazing songs. I can't wait to see what his hometown crowd's gonna do here tonight. Um, Probably drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Never 
never-ending flow of Bud Light. The guy's trying to get me drunk. In front of my all my childhood friends and family at the Stomp and Tom Center here at Skinner's Pond was uh, it was pretty amazing. And I was thinking it was you. It was probably you. Maybe it was me. Yeah. Awesome. That was the best kind of pom poms I've ever been. You guys are great. No, I can't say it about Jay Gavin. He, he, he's a nice guy. He's from my relative side. <laughs> oh, when I was growing up, that's what I thought I was going to be, was a, a fisherman. Oh, well, I was a fisherman, but I thought I would be that for my whole life. Um, my dreams back then were to own my own boat or at least captain my own boat that I really miss being on the boat being out free on the water on days like today when there's no wind it's uh it's the I don't know you it's worth more than the money but on days that it's stormy out and we lose some of our friends out there those aren't the days that I miss no. definitely couldn't be a fisherman anymore unless uh, I could find somebody that started fishing at three o'clock in the afternoon because that's way too early for me now <laughs> I just caught a lobster! <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? Ow! <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> From home so long It's just a memory in my mind Like a postcard to remind me Of all the things I left behind Yeah, I never stay that long And I always travel light Old words and duffel bags and lies I'm gonna make myself a promise I ain't never gonna keep I'm gonna walk down to the water and wash my troubles in the deep. I'm just a faded recollection of a man I thought I'd be. Just a piece of rotten fruit fell from my loving family tree. And now we all just stay inside and it's getting hard to breathe. There ain't a cloud up in the sky. But it feels like rain to me I sit and think about All the things I didn't give a damn When I wrote Feels Like Rain I wrote it about home and family And uh, the first line I wrote The line at the end I guess it's the bridge where it says I miss my family and I miss the days of grandma's when we'd sing so We used to get, over, get together over there every Sunday and. She'd make us hot hamburgers with uh, fries <laughs> and peas and gravy, and it was uh, it was amazing. Everybody would be fighting and arguing and yelling all day, but we'd also be laughing and singing, and I really, really miss those days. And yeah. 